is another week, another episode of the Property Game of Tours. With me, your host, Karan Bajaj, a.k.a. Dubai's Friendly Neighborhood Property Man. And this is me getting all consistent on YouTube once again, the way I used to be. Oh, really? Pat on the back for you, Karan. <clears throat> anyway, today I am here to take you guys on a tour in a landmark development. Guaranteed, you've never seen something like this before. Probably not. Wait, why did I say probably? You haven't. How do I know? Well, because this development has the longest cantilevered building in the world that honestly looks freaking scary. I mean, would you look at that bridge of a building suspended 100 meters above? Above the ground just chilling over there like gravity doesn't exist now I don't mean to sound dark but uh, hopefully that link bridge connecting these two monstrous towers don't end up being a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for many if you know what I mean <laughs> snap out of it because a lot of calculations and careful planning have obviously been gone into today's featured project so without further ado I bring you a one-of-a-kind development one Zabil One sentence, one Zabil is a landmark structure comprising two high-rise towers of 67 and 57 stories respectively, dissected by a cantilevered building known as The Link, offering 360 degree views of Zabil along with the Dubai skyline and consists of one to four bedroom residential simplexes and duplexes, one to three bedroom serviced apartments and a five bedroom penthouse due for completion in Q4 2023. Developed by the Investment Corporation of Dubai, this one-of-a-kind mammoth of a landmark towers over the Royal Lorai's vicinity of Zabil and has officially been termed as the longest cantilevered building in the world. With 264 residences, 229 resort guest rooms and suites, 94 service private homes and over 12,000 square meters of retail GLA. In the suspended link itself, that will have panoramic viewing decks, Michelin-inspired restaurants and lounges with celebrity chefs and a swimming pool sitting directly on top of the link with views to dive for. As for the rest of the amenities, here you go! Okay guys, so right now we are about to check out a three bedroom plus maids duplex right here on the 32nd floor of One Zabil, fully furnished show apartment. Let's do this. Okay, so immediately upon entering, you can see a nice little foyer over here. Flooring is porcelain by the way and the uh, door handles are from Hafele. Just gonna talk a little branding here. As I proceed further, to my right, we have the first bedroom. Alright, just look at that, basket all in. Um, to my left, actually, from here, we have the uh, section for wardrobes. Let me open some of them, actually, without spending too much time on them, because we have a bunch of other wardrobes open. Okay, you can see ambient lighting that uh, switches on as you open these doors. All right, nice little mirror over here. Hello. <laughs> to my right, we have the ensuite bathroom with a single vanity top. Nice marble over here. All right, furniture is pretty good over here, actually, but this is obviously a furniture apartment. But just to my left, we have the little toilet bowl, a nice looking throne, as you can see over there. I'm gonna talk more about the fittings and sanitary wear when we get to the master bathroom. But you can see the uh, enclosure for the shower with a rain shower just above me. You see that? And the rectangular drain, very nice touch. Now, moving out of this space, right? Let's look at the actual bedroom, all right? It opens up to a nice balcony. Do you want to check that out? Or because this balcony actually connects with the balcony in the living room, so but let's just check it out actually. And I'll show you the living room balcony as well. Okay, so. Like I said, one Zabil, right? This is the tallest tower in this particular vicinity over here. Which is why you get unobstructed views of Zabil. Would you look at that with the Dubai Creek? To my right is actually downtown Dubai with the Burj Khalifa and DIFC just before that. And if you can see that, I'm gonna stretch out my camera without dropping it, of course. But yeah, coming back to the apartment, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of this apartment. So stay tuned, it's pretty cool, trust me. Okay, so moving out of this space, it's uh, <laughs> to my right. As I proceed further into this apartment, I need to tell you that this whole apartment is laced with a lot of storage options. Like literally the walls to my left and right are actually storage spaces. So let me just open this and tell you what I mean. You have a little storage over here. If that wasn't enough, you have storage underneath the staircase over here, the storage and utility area. If you look at that guys. Okay, moving out of this space. To my left, as I proceed a little ahead, we have the powder room, which is pretty spacious actually. Could almost pass for a normal bathroom, but without the shower, of course. Uh, toilet bowl over here, uh, vanity top, nice. Moving out of this space, you can see the staircase. We're gonna go on top in a bit and check that out with the two remaining bedrooms. But for now, you can look at this double height ceiling with that massive chandelier right on top. I'm just gonna walk around so you can see what I mean. Okay, now let's move in further and check out the kitchen along with the dining space. Okay, what do we look at first? You know what, let's enter the kitchen and come out from the other end. To my left, we have the kitchen. 
with the refrigerator and freezers just ahead of me. These are massive, by the way. So yeah, this is one and two. All right, can you see that? The appliances, literally all of them are from Siemens. I'm gonna tell you what appliances we have here. We have the refrigerator, freezer. Now as I move in further ahead, we have the gas stove, which is not outfitted over here right now. Just a little awful place. This is a show apartment, so yeah, we have a gas stove when the apartment for the actual apartment. And we have a massive oven from Siemens as well. A microwave oven just ahead of me from Siemens. And the dishwasher is all from the same brand. Don't know how many times I'm gonna say Siemens, but yeah. Um, a double bowl kitchen sink from Franca with the sink mixer from Grower. This one also extends. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and we also have a nice pass-through window over here that opens up pretty wide and you can see that it overlooks the dining space right there. Alright, moving on. In terms of storage, like I said, we have ample storage. All of these are actually cabinets that open from this end to the other with self-closed hinges. So if I try the slam test, it passes easily as you can see. These are all cabinets. I'm not going to open each and every one of them, but you get what I mean. You get the point. Oh yeah, and we have a range hood as well from the same brand Siemens. Some storage over here. Pretty cool, right? Moving further, we have like a bunch of other storage options. Like I said, the utility and storage room over here. And the second utility room, which has the uh, washing machine that you idly place, right? So the laundry slash utility room. As I move out of this space, ahead we have the maid's room where you can put a single bed over here that has an ensuite bathroom. And it's pretty spacious. I mean, I wouldn't mind staying in the maid's room to be honest. But yeah, moving out of this space, you also get a brilliant view from this room. This one particularly has the view of the Dubai frame, if you can see that. Now moving out of this space, right? As I proceed from this other end of the apartment, we started off from there and entered the kitchen to my left. But yeah, right now we have the dining space, massive as you can see. Right, I'm gonna circle around that. <laughs> we get a view over here as well with a big mirror, okay? Now, I think I'm gonna check out the bedrooms on top. So stay tuned, I'm gonna climb up these stairs. Fast forward. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, the stairs on this staircase actually have ambient lighting that you can turn off. But yeah, to my left, we have the first, or rather the second bedroom, the first one we checked on the ground floor. And you're greeted with another set of storage options. <laughs> you can see this one has two drawers as well. Now, okay, moving further, to my right, we have the ensuite bathroom that has a toilet bowl over here. The enclosure for the rain shower with the shower over here and uh, the single vanity top with a big mirror as well. Now, moving out of this space, time to look at the actual bedroom from here. But to my left, we have the built-in wardrobes that are in plenty, so you won't run out of storage, hopefully anytime soon, depending on how much stuff you wanna cram in. Pretty sure you won't need to cram in anything in the first place. But yeah, okay, I opened that. I'm not gonna open that one, because you've already seen these wardrobes. Now, we have the actual space for the bedroom, as you can see, All right? This one also has a view, but these curtains are in the way, but you get the idea. Basket all in, guys. Okay, I'm gonna check out the third bedroom in this apartment, which is the master bedroom. But as I exit this particular bedroom, you can see that just ahead of me, we have a little space that you can turn into your office or study and uh, overlook your living room from here. You see that? <laughs> pretty cool, right? Now, from, let me just circle around this so you guys can see what I mean. I'm pretty spacious get views of the Dubai frame as well. Now, time to check out the master bedroom over here. As I turn right, you can see that just before entering this master bathroom, to my left, we have a massive section for the built-in wardrobes. I've opened a bunch of wardrobes, but let me just open one of them, just so you guys have an idea for this master bedroom especially. Now, moving further, we have the master bathroom, which is the biggest one over here, obviously. We have the bathtub from Caldaway, and uh, we have the toilet bowl over here in this particular enclosure that you can shut if you want added privacy. <laughs> and we also have the enclosure right next to it that houses the shower with the rain shower as well. Look at that guys. Nice. We have a single vanity top. And uh, yeah, the fittings are from Groa and Gibrit while the sanitary wear are from Kohler. Now, moving out of this space, right? Time to check out the master bedroom, which is the biggest one. Would you look at that, guys? Basket all in. And your panoramic windows from left to right. Obviously, these curtains are on the way, but you get the idea. You put a lot of stuff over here, a little table, nice sofa with a coffee table over here. And you know what? I'm just gonna allow you guys to appreciate it. Okay, done. Okay, now I'm gonna check out the view from the balcony, the living space. I'm gonna fast forward everything from now till we get to it, so don't worry, stay tuned.
Okay guys, so we are here on the balcony from the living space. You'll have to excuse how messy this particular area is. Obviously this is a show apartment. This whole structure is still not ready yet entirely. So I just wanted to show you guys the view from this particular balcony, right? We have it from this side. Okay, wow. We have Zabil Park right there. And just looking all around, you can see how expansive these views are because of the absence of buildings, right? You don't have any low to high rise buildings because the vicinity of Zabil is not known to have towers or buildings or anything like that. So yeah, we have the Burj Khalifa over there because this is the same balcony that opens up to the first bedroom that we just saw. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of the furnished three bedroom duplex show apartment here at the One Zabil. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was episode 26 of the Property Game of Tours. Let me know if you guys liked it. If you have any comments, if you'd like to ask me any questions, just feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you'd like to book a free consultation with Dubai's friendly neighborhood property man, I mentioned a link in the description box as always. Please tell me which projects I should do next because I like hearing from you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Ooh.